Renowned physicist and known non-giver of fucks, Albert Einstein accomplished a lot in his lifetime, most of which he disliked talking about. In fact, Einstein disliked a lot of things, but especially he disliked socks. So much so that he would go out of his way to avoid wearing them in every scenario possible, and when he was forced to wear them, would do so in a very childish way. Okay, so how much could he possibly hate socks? Uh, Einstein held a literal, lifelong grudge against socks. Uh, he hated them so much, and it all stemmed from his childhood in Eastern Europe. And, you know, the infamously chilly Eastern European winters, mm -hmm. uh, one of which you're enjoying right now. <laughs> uh, you know how cold it is here, right? I hate it. Yeah, now imagine that in a time before stuff like radiators. And now imagine those chilly winters when you didn't have radiators and also had to wear really, really shit socks. And uh, according to Einstein, when he was very young, he found it increasingly annoying that almost every time he wore a pair of socks, his big toe would poke out the end of him through a hole that his big toe made by wiggling around. And then his big toe um, would get really, really chilly. And it gets so much more chilly than the rest of his foot that that would just annoy him. So as a child, he decided to swear off wearing socks. And that's the uh, that's a solution that only a child would come up with, isn't it? Because for me, I just wear a second pair of socks. If my big toe's going to be cold, fuck it, the rest of my foot's going to be cold. Uh, all the rest of my little piggies, they're feeling left out. They're, if one's going <laughs> to do that, <laughs> Einstein's little piggies are ride or die, motherfuckers, aren't they? <laughs> Look, we're, if one of us goes down, we all go down. If he ends up walking on nubs, so be it. <laughs> we all go in wee, 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 all the way <laughs> Yeah, fuck y'all. Like, Einstein's little piggies ride or die. And uh, yeah, just basically from being about like seven, eight years old, he's like, I'm not wearing socks. I, I don't want to wear socks. And that's the thing like today, no one really gives a fuck about that. Do they? It's like, um, uh, you, you know me personally, you know, I never wear matching socks ever. No. My entire life, I've never worn matching socks. And that's like, just because I'm too lazy to make them into pairs. Mm -hmm. And um, I've met people get annoyed at that. And the idea of people get annoyed at socks. Like, who gives a fuck? It's socks. <laughs> there was, um, so, uh, for some reason, you remember when, all right, you've talked before about like D.A.R.E., that weird drug, anti-drug program in the oh, US. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. For some reason, there was like a D.A.R.E. awareness day at my school when I was in, I, I was like five or something like that. And uh, you were supposed to wear mismatched socks to say no to drugs. And this was the first time I had ever done this. And as I'm trying to leave for school, my three-year-old sister threw such a horrendous tantrum. And my mom was so confused because she's like, why does a three-year-old care so much? But she was just crying going, you can't wear mismatched socks. Yeah. It's like some people get really, like there's people who have like minor OCD about that sort of thing. It's like um, I've encountered a couple in real life of people with like TV volumes. They have uh, to be yeah. either a, um, uh, a increment of five, increment of five or, or, even or, number. or an even number, yes. And then the one with like plug sockets, they always have to be turned on or off. You can't have like mismatched plug sockets. And it's like, it gets so, so frustrating to deal with. The sock one always confuses me. It's like, it's fucking socks. Who gives a fuck? Well, back in Einstein's day, people gave the biggest fuck about this. And it was a source of constant frustration for Einstein. Like every single time he tried to get dressed up for an event, someone would tell him, put on socks. And he didn't want to wear socks. So, okay, I get it, his socks were unreliable, but like, that's pretty extreme. Is there like a <laughs> deeper reason he didn't like socks? Uh, Einstein had really bad feet. Like, as in really, really bad feet. Like, so bad, they had him excluded from military service um, uh, when he emigrated to Switzerland. Oh my God. And um, according to Einstein himself, in a letter to one of his friends, he was discounted from military service um, uh, due to the fact he had flat feet and varicose veins at 20 years old. At 20? At 20 years old. Oh my God. And if anyone's wondering why is that a big deal, ask anyone who's got like flat feet or very close, or just like, you know, bad, like, collapsed arches and anything like that. Mm -hmm. It fucks you up. And Einstein suffered terribly with his feet, so much so they wouldn't even let him, like, you know, do mandatory military service, which is then how he ended up in the patent office. I did the famous story, I worked in a patent office for all that time. No. Oh, that was the thing everyone knew about Einstein, is that he worked in a patent office. <laughs> just the family guy joke about it. it was, yeah, I'd like to patent um, Jeff's theory of relativity. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Einstein steals it. I call it Smith's Theory of Relativity. Hey, look at this. What? 
Uh, but yeah, he had like, like horrendously bad feet, and it's uh, noted that Einstein just on probably a bi-weekly basis would just be like, I fucking hate my shoes. I hate shoes so much. <laughs> so he didn't just hate socks, he hated any, having anything on his feet. And the solution he found as a kid was to wear shoes that were either too big or with the laces undone. Mm. And you can't walk around with your laces undone without someone commenting on it. So he eventually started wearing bigger and bigger shoes um, just so that he had like, you know, some breathing room for his feet. And then when he got older, and he was working in office, he does not wear shoes at all. He was that dickhead. He was the guy who wore no shoes at the office, but also no socks. Ew. But it's Einstein. You got it <laughs> because it's Einstein. And my favorite thing about all these stories about Einstein is that so many of them get misrepresented um, uh, like by lesser fact websites and um, uh, channels. Well, they talk about how it was part of his genius. Yeah. So, like, oh, he was his genius. Like he didn't want to, like, you know, we have his body encumbered by this, so he's like, so his thoughts could wander and unlock the mi mysteries of the universe. It's like, no, his feet fucking hurt. <laughs> it's all it is. <laughs> and one of my favourite mini facts about him that I can say now because we've never made it to a full article is that when people would stop him and try and talk to him about physics, he'd just say. Um, oh, 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 I'm really sorry, but I'm often mistaken for Professor Einstein and walk off. <laughs> it's like, yes. Is that why you do that? Like every, okay. Every time you get recognized that I've been with you, they go, do I know you? And you go, no. <laughs> no, it's because I don't want to be that dickhead. So, <laughs> this is a true fucking story. One time I was at a, a nightclub having a drink mm -hmm. and someone did that thing and they go, and I noticed that they were doing it. So I thought I might have recognized them as something. I went, do I know you? And I went, oh yeah, I've, I've got like a YouTube channel. I went, no, we were in university together. <laughs> and I felt like such a bell end in that moment. <laughs> I never want to make the same mistake again. That's a real thing that happened to me. And Einstein was like, you know, he's similar, but for a different reason. He just didn't want to talk to you about physics. Because people come up to him. Imagine being Einstein and have people come up and talk to you about physics. It's like, that'd be like a child asking you a question. Mm -hmm. It's like, I already know everything about physics, fuck off. And one of my favorite times about Einstein, getting back to his feet, um, is like one day, like his feet just hurt like a bitch. And he sent for a fucking just cobbler to come to his house. <laughs> and the cobbler's like, guess what? like, Professor Einstein needs you. He's like, why does Professor Einstein mean it's like, and they got like a note that just said good and bad on it. And it was like some really hastily drawn diagrams of shoes. <laughs> because Einstein tried to use his like his physicist brain to solve it like an equation <laughs> to figure out what was wrong. <laughs> And the, uh, the cobbler came to his house and decided that, like, okay, you need to wear, sh like, I'm not sure the exact specifics of what they did for him, but they basically, they made him some shoes that fit to his exact specifications so that they hurt the least. Mm -hmm. And Einstein was so thankful for this, he signed that piece of paper and said, thank you. Aww, that's nice. Just the thing, he tried to solve it like a physics equation. <laughs> Bring it back to like shoes and socks. Einstein, he really did not like wearing shoes. And formal events, one of the reasons he hated them is he had to wear shoes. Because like you can't go to say like, you know, a fancy gala and not wear some nice shoes. And you can't wear a pair of nice shoes without wearing a pair of socks. And Einstein didn't like either. And it's noted that like when he went to the White House, he did not wear socks. And his wife was really mad. It's like, you can't meet the president and not wear socks. Like, fuck you, I'm not wearing socks. I hate wearing socks. And I like stuff that's a bit less prestigious than going to the White House. Um, uh, he would just steadfastly refuse, I'm not wearing socks. And when he was forced to wear socks, he would wear them, I shit you not, over his shoes, which had the shoelaces untied. <laughs> which is a fashion faux pas so far beyond the idea of wearing socks with sandals that it's viewing it from the edge of the observable universe. Like, that is like a next level fashion faux pas, isn't it? Wearing socks over untie <laughs> shoes. But speaking of the fashion faux pas of wearing sandals, like Einstein did not give a fuck about stuff like that. So much so that he, one of the most famous images going to exist, um, that's not either like, you know, this one of him, like, you know, at his physics board. Um, this one of him with his tongue stuck out is the one you saw earlier of him on the beach wearing women's shoes, wearing shorts. Amazing. And Einstein is looking so lean and so clean <laughs> in that photo, isn't it? Uh, so the story behind that photo is that, as they often did, Einstein's feet started to hurt. So he walked into a nearby shop owned by a guy called David Rothman. And this shop is one of those knick-knack shops sold everything. Mm -hmm. And according to Rothman, he was very surprised to see Albert Einstein, the eminent physicist, walking into his shop. He was even more surprised when Einstein walked up to him and said, Sundials. 
And Rothman just so happened to have a sundial in his back garden. So he took Einstein through the shop to the back garden and pointed at his sundial. At which point Einstein went, sundials. Sundial. No. He had a German accent. <laughs> sundials while pointing at his feet, which Rothman then noticed were completely bare. <laughs> Realised sandals. Oh, walked him back into the shop and picked up a pair of women's sandals. And Einstein was so embarrassed and gave so few fucks, he just grabbed those and put them straight on. <laughs> And by means of an apology, he then posed for a photo with Rothman wearing the sandals, which we have below us here. And you can just see Einstein's like, yeah. <laughs> just no thoughts given. That's amazing. That is how it's done.